So there's a big problem, which is that the glare of your light is a giant star yeah. in here. So you're going to have to maybe... But actually, she's good in the shot. Maybe Where we'll just do, you might to? be standing there just for a question, just to like, we get it, and then you can move. And do you mind that? Thing. Just for... Let me get you right in the Sure. Shot. So yeah, so we'll get you a shot. Just, even though it's not going to be the best shot, just so we can talk about it. And, and then, then we'll you get can you. move to a better spot and continue. Okay. All right. Fine. So, okay. okay. So, just one question. Am I videotaping you videotaping her? Exactly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. So just if you want to just turn your right shoulder right right more towards us. Yep. So Natasha, what's going on here? Well, it's uh, user generated content, so we're taking an end user taking a video of traditional media. That's what it's all about. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Tony on camera and I have combined fifty years experience in media. Do you think it's possible that a user could you know, generate content? something that can compete with what we can do? Uh, I don't believe it competes. I believe we've got multiple channels, and I see us all finding a way to work together, like the plane in the house. It was on Twitter 15 minutes before traditional media picked up on it. Um, I still see traditional media as the authority, um, as um, the authority that will give you an unbiased opinion versus a user who is not trained and will probably give you their perspective or their bias in a situation. So I certainly see the world evolving where we all work together and uh, I move forward. Peace on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, can you keep her in the shot or? I actually zoomed into her. Okay, great. So if you want to move for a better shot for your purposes, go for it. You, you seem very hesitant. I'm sure well, you're doing a good okay. job. Well, that's okay. You know what? That, that's okay. You know, Michelle, you're doing a tremendous job. Michelle came in early, and she's not sure what she got herself into <laughs> today. And you got to see that photo. <laughs> that that kind of shows how she feels. But that's what it's about. User generated content. So what does that mean for those who don't know? Well, it is. Um, I, I guess you're not going to be here for the presentation, but um, video. We've got our amazing camera here, sound, I have this. So in a matter of seconds, I can capture a photo or a video and I can upload it instantly anywhere on the internet to share my story uh, based on how I see it and what's happening in my world. Um, and, and it's a great way to share our stories. Now, uh, is, it, is it true, is it fact, is it fiction? That's where you come in. Uh, you do the investigative reporting that you need to do um, and, and you go out and you broadcast it. So uh, user-generated content is anything from audio, video, text that people contribute online. Now tell me what you expect members of the audience to be, to be doing today during your presentation. Well, initially, uh, the way I do my workshops, I take the path less traveled and I get everyone to participate, a combination of role playing online based on the different pers personas online uh, with uh, sandbox uh, sites that I set up uh, using open source technology for social networks, blogs, what have you. Okay, already I think some of our viewers don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Facebook is a social network. LinkedIn is a social network for professionals, and so I take um, open source technologies like BuddyPress and, and we will emulate those, um, those networks or, or those things online, and I get people to participate, so at the end of the session, they actually see what's going on. However, as you can see the room, it's pretty big, and there's over 130 people registered, so I'm not going to be able to do the full role-playing workshop as I intended, but we are going to be live blogging, and we we have Michelle here who has very, very generously volunteered to go on the Facebook page and put content, and at the end of the session, we will be exploring that as well as to, in a live event situation, what are the things she can do in terms of user-generated content, and uh, how can you raise awareness to your cause, your events, or whatever. Now, why should people pay attention to user-generated content? Why does it matter? It matters because if you're planning a trip, um, how do you know where to go and, and what to do? You go online and you see the comments that people make, you know, how they rated, what do they think, what was 
their experience at the resort or the cruise or the, the backpacking trip versus what the brochure says. So the wonderful things about things like Twitter and Facebook is that it's traditional marketing per word of mouth that you've taken online. So chances are, if you're looking for a service, say a contractor to come to your house, you will go to your personal network and ask for referrals. So it's the same concept, except rather than you making a phone call or sending an email, you now do it through your social network. So there's a whole psychology, which is a whole other topic that we're not covering today, on uh, how people interact with their friends online. So there's a theory, and research says that Say you had a best friend for five years and you've had a Facebook friend for two months, chances are you will feel closer to that Facebook friend that you've had for two months versus the one for five years, simply you're interacting more online. So there's a whole psychology around that and companies and brands are understanding it and they're now implementing a lot of these features. So when you sign on to a site, they let you have the Facebook Connect feature. And what that means is when you sign up to that site, what's going to be posted on your wall is sign up for a backpacking trip from company ABC. And then chances your, your friends will look at it and go, hey, you know, if she trusts it and she thinks it's good, so then it's good for me too. So great from a communication marketing perspective. Great. That's all we need. Thanks. You're welcome. Good job. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much.